So when you when you write a song, do you go through the process of copywriting it and all that? Do you have your publishing company? I'm not very good at all that stuff. I Is must be right? a terrible thing to say. I'm not setting a bad example. We have some you courses. should. I do actually now. I've got. I I have somebody else does all takes care of all that stuff for me. But um. <laughs> a manager. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And who's your manager? Lee Frank. Oh yeah. And Lee manage manages them. the Preservation Hall band, too. He does, yes. He used to manage Tipitinas, and then he evacuated to San Francisco um, after Katrina, or before Katrina, and, and ended up staying out there. Do you control your own catalog? Do you, do, do you, or have you sold your publishing? How do you do that? No, I own all my publishing. I have a, um, an administration deal where they go and collect <coughs> the royalties that are due. Um, I've been lucky in that I haven't had to really go out and, and hustle my songs. Uh, I, perhaps I should have done. I've had a few people have come to me asking <coughs> to cover songs of mine. And because I have my own band and because I make records under my own name, I usually write most of all the material on the albums that I do. And that's a good kind of calling card for some people from the older songs. And um, that's worked well for me, although uh, there's a lot to be said for having somebody that actually actively goes out and promotes your songs for you. Um, but it's kind of hard to get that, to get to find someone that does that really well, at so least. Yeah. So basically you record your own songs, other people don't. But you got Maria, I know Maria, Maria Moldau recorded in half a dozen of your songs and more. Yeah, the, I mean, people I've played with have dug my songs and, and to Taj Mahal cut a bunch of my songs and really? Bonnie's done and various other people. What song did Bonnie cut that, that of yours? She cut a song called Monkey Business. She did one called Mercenary, Unnecessarily Mercenary. Oh, yeah. Um, and my mind's gone completely blank and I can't remember. Isn't that terrible? I've got to remember four songs. I can remember two of them. <laughs> How many songs have you got in the catalog, do you think? Um, God, I don't know. Hundreds? I wouldn't say hundreds, maybe 50, 60. In my catalogue, my catalogue probably means existing on scraps of paper, <laughs> sort of stuck down the back of a drawer somewhere. <laughs> you know. We could turn you into a real business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we could. What about? Are you signed? You're signed to Basin Street. Is that right? I made. A, I just made two records for Basin Street, and I'm deciding now whether to make more records of them or go and look elsewhere. Or take stock of the way things are developing. The, the, the goalposts have moved a great deal in recent years with the way music is, not only the way music is recorded, but the way it's distributed and consumed as well. <coughs> and the possibilities for distributing music via websites and via the internet is, is quite interesting. Do you have a website? Yes. Who keeps it up for you, Lee? It's an organization in San Francisco that maintain them through the website and sell CDs and t-shirts and no downloads though mm, you can download stuff too yeah you can download you can buy some of the album songs directly 